In this episode, we are going to solve this example, which says we should find the eigenvalue and eigenvector for the matrix A, 5, 4, 1, and 2. So, straight away, let's look at how we can do it. From the previous episode, we saw the relation as a minus lambda i n multiplying the eigenvector should be equal to zero. Are we okay? Where a is the matrix, lambda is the eigenvalue. This is the identity two by two matrix, and this is the eigenvector. Are we okay? So in situations like this, we must first find the eigenvalue. In order to find the eigenvector. And to find the eigenvalue, we are going to say the determinant of this matrix is going to be equal to zero. Are we good? So now this is the equation we are going to use to find the eigenvalue. But before we find the determinant of this matrix, first let's find what A minus lambda i n is that is going to be equal to the matrix a which is five four one two minus lambda which is the eigenvalue and i n the identity two by two matrix one zero zero one this is further going to be five four one two minus when you multiply through, that will be lambda, 0, 0, lambda. This is going to be multiplication, or this is subtraction of matrices. So, this is going to be 5 minus lambda. This is 4 minus 0, which is 4. 1 minus 0, which is 1. And 2 minus lambda, this way. So, this represents A minus lambda i n now that we have this we must find the determinant of the matrix a minus lambda i n and equate it to zero are we good so to find the determinant of this matrix we know that that is going to be our five minus lambda multiplying two minus lambda minus 4 multiplying 1 equal to 0. Now, if we do our multiplication, what well, we are going to have 10 minus 5 lambda minus 2 lambda plus lambda square minus 4 equal to 0. And this is going to be this square minus 7 lambda plus 6 is equal to 0. Now we have a quadratic equation for this. If we are trying to break down this expression, this is going to give us lambda square minus 6 minus lambda plus 6. So we can find the root of the equation. This is lambda out. Lambda minus 6 minus 1 out, lambda minus 6 equal to 0. So the root will be lambda minus 1 and lambda minus 6 equal to 0, which means lambda is equal to 6 and lambda is equal to 1. So with this, these are the eigenvalues. Therefore, the eigenvalues values are 6 and 1. We are able to establish or find the eigenvalues as 6 and 1 from this equation that we established, equation 1. Are we okay? So now we have to find the eigenvector. We have to find the eigenvector. Remember, this equation is saying 
it is multiplied by the eigen vector and that is equal to zero. So in order to find the eigen vector, you have two values for the eigen values. You are going to use each of them to find the eigen vector. So eigen vector for six, eigen vector for one. Are we good? Just look at the equation, bring everything back into the equation and you'll be able to find the eigen vector. Straight away, let's look at how it is done. Let's take the value for six. Are we good? Six and look at it. So here, for the eigen value equal to six, what are we going to get? We know that the expression says we have a minus lambda i n. The eigen vector should be equal to zero. Are we good? So we can say let the eigen vector be equal to. We are going to represent it by say x one because we are doing it for six and one. Let's call the first one x one and y one. This is a vector. Are we good? So everything here now we can put it back into the equation our matrix a first we have the big bracket our matrix a that is equal to 5 4 and 1 2 minus our lambda now our lambda is 6 the eigen value multiplying the identity which is 1 0 0 1 and bracket closed multiplying the eigen vector and we said it is i1 or x1 y1 equal to zero so we can squeeze this part and make it look simple then again this is going to be the matrix 5 4 1 2 i'll multiply through by the 6 giving me 6 0 0 6 So here, subtraction of two matrices, I am going to get now 5 minus 6, that is negative 1, 4 minus 0, that is 4, 1 minus 0, 1, 2 minus 6, negative 4, this way. Multiplying the vector equal to 0. When you look at this, this is 2 by 2 matrix. A two by one matrix so multiplication can take place are we okay so let's try to do the multiplication of the two of them so this negative one multiplying by x1 we are going to get our negative x1 four multiplying y so that'll be plus four y1 the second rule, 1 by that, x1, then negative 4 by that, plus negative 4, y1. Everything is equal to 0. Now we have this. Can we draw an equation from this? So can we see the first rule is negative x plus 4y1 equal to 0. Let's call this equation 3. From the second rule, x1, so 1 minus 4 y1 equal to 0 equation 4. don't try to use simultaneous equation to solve this you get math error because it will cancel themselves out so in order to get the eigen vector from this equation you pick any of the equations so i will take from equation 1 and make this is equation 1 so equation 1 is negative x1 plus 4y1 equal to 0. This is the same as, try and make the coefficient of x and y to be 1. So this is the same as negative x equal to negative 4y1. This is 1. I can multiply through by negative, which means the equation is going to be x1 equal to 4y1. In order to make the coefficient of x1, 1, and this 2, 1, 
can I say x1 on y1 is equal to 4 on 1? So meaning the coefficient of x1 is 1 for y1 is 1. And this is equal to that, meaning the eigenvector x1, y1 is equal to x1 is corresponding to 4 and y1 is corresponding to 1 for that. Are we okay? Meaning for lambda equal to 6, the eigenvalue 6, its corresponding eigenvector is 4, 1, 4 and 1. So let's try and verify it if it is true that its corresponding eigenvector is 4 and 1. Let's look at it. So looking at it, we have from, we want to verify if for lambda is equal to 6, its corresponding vector is that from this expression, the matrix multiplying the eigenvector should be equal to the eigenvalue multiplying the eigenvector. Let's look at this. So here, our lambda, which is the eigenvalue, is 6, and our eigenvector is 4 and 1. So I have my matrix as 5, 4, 1, 2, multiplying the vector, which is 4 and 1. We are saying it should be equal to the lambda, which is 6, and the vector 4 and 1. Are we good? So now here, this is matrix multiplication. We are going to get 5 multiplying 4 plus 4 multiplying 1. Then 1 multiplying 4 plus 2 multiplying 1 should be equal to here 6 is going to multiply the 4, 6 is going to multiply the 1. Let's check it out. This bracket is going to give us 5, 4, that is going to be 20 plus 4. This is going to be 4 plus 2. And this is going to be 6 by 4, that is 24, 6 by 1, and that is 6. And when you solve this, you are going to get 24 and 6 should be equal to 24 and 6. Meaning for our corresponding eigenvector, it is true. So when lambda is 6, its corresponding vector is 4 and 1. Remember, we had two values for lambda, which is 6 and 1. This is 4, 6. Let's try that for the lambda is equal to 1. You have to do for both in order to get your four marks. Now, for lambda is equal to 1, we are also going to start from the same thing, minus lambda i n, multiplying by 8 vector should be equal to 0. So here we can also say let our eigenvector be x2, y2, the second point of the second vector. Are we okay? So here we still have our matrix A. So the matrix A, which is 5, 4, 1, and 2, minus lambda. Here lambda is 1, multiplying the identity 1, 0, 0, 1. Bracket close and we have our x2, y2 should be equal to 0. Let's try and see. So 1 multiplying the identity is the same as the identity. So we will try to perform the subtraction straight away and look at what we have. So this is going to give us 5 minus 1, that is 4. 4 minus 0, that is 4. 1 minus 0, that is 1 and 2 minus 1, that is also 1. Multiplying the x2, y2 equal to 0. We can do multiplication of matrices here. So this is going to give us 4 by x2 plus 4 by y2. The second row is going to give us x2 plus y2. Everything is equal to 0. 
let's draw our equations from this so 4x2 plus 4y2 is equal to 0 this is our equation let's say 5 and the second equation that is going to be x2 plus y2 equal to 0 and that is our equation is called 6 from any of the equation i can also try to find the eigen vector from it are you okay so let me try from equation 6 from equation 6 in order to make the coefficient of them 1 and 1 can i say x2 should be equal to negative y2 yes and x2 on y2 which represents the vector form here is going to be equal to negative 1 on top over 1. Therefore, the eigenvector x2, y2 is equal to the x2 corresponds to negative 1, y2 corresponds to positive 1. Are we okay? Therefore, for lambda is equal to 1, its corresponding eigenvector is negative 1 and positive. One. So let's try to verify this and also see if it is true. So to verify this, we are going to use the same relation to verify that. So our matrix A, which is, we get our matrix and that is 5, 4, 1, 2. Multiplying the eigenvector, we are saying negative 1 and 1 should be equal to lambda 1 by the vector negative 1 and 1. So by multiplication, we are going to say 5 multiplying negative 1 plus 4 multiplying 1. 1 multiplying negative 1 plus 2 multiplying 1 should be equal to, when you multiply 1 through, that would be negative 1 and 1. So this is going to give us negative 5 plus 4 and negative 1 plus 2. We already have negative 1 and 1. And you can see that this is clearly negative 1, positive 1, equal to negative 1, positive 1. So we also seen that for lambda is equal to 1, its eigenvector is equal to negative 1 and 1. So you make a nice conclusion for each of the lambda, that's the eigenvalue. So this was on a 2 by 2 matrix. In the next episode, we are going to look at how to find eigenvalue and vectors on a 3 by 3 matrix. If you enjoyed the video, kindly subscribe, share, and drop your comments. Check out for the next episode. Thank you.